Now, if you can see that light shining through the reed valve, that one is no good. We're going to have to try to flip it around and see if it's going to seal up. Hey everybody, it's Jay from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are working on the final stages of the sea Dew engine before we drop it in. Yes, that's right. It's fucking been a long project. Been a few years dragging on, but we're going to get her done. And tonight, we are working on the reed valves and the magneto system. The reed valves, we just got to check them, inspect them, make sure they're good. The magneto system, we got to bleed the oil, prime the lines, attach it, test the stator, all that bullshit. Make sure it's all good before we install it. And fuck, let's get to work. I don't want to be wasting your time because you want to learn, not listen to me whine. This one here is sealed, but the corner's chipped. There's only four bolts that hold that reed in place. So I'm just going to flip it over, and then it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'm going to flip it over, re-bolt it down, and then we're going to recheck it, see if it's sealed up. See, flipping it over made it worse, now we're going to have to mix and match from two different sets of reeds to fix this up. Now, I'll hold it up to the light. All right, what I did is I swapped one reed side from this one because that other side's chipped. Swapped it out with this one here, so I got two good reed valves now, and I'm just gonna stick them inside the engine block just like that. And then we're gonna get attach this piece. We got to uh, prime the oil lines, make sure there's oil in the oil lines to go up to the reed valves. Otherwise, that's gonna uh, fucking wreak some damage for the engine. And I don't know, I guess this one here is kind of fucking junk or spare parts. I'm not quite sure yet. So now I got my makeshift line put on and I got it connected to here because I had to change out that line. So now you want to bleed it. You want to bleed it before you purge the lines. You take a 7 mil wrench. And this is your bleed valve right here. And you just pull it out like that. And then you'd bleed all the air out of it. Of course, when I go to actually put it in the sea dew, it's going to be a whole different story. But that essentially is how it's done. All right, so now we're going to prime it. So I get the line filled with oil. And then when we start priming it, you're going to have to open up the valve like that so oil can get through. And then you need to spin the pump, so I just use my half inch impact gun with a socket that's a little bit oversized on the plastics piece there. It's a little bit of overkill, but she's going to get the job done. And we just hold that open and spin it over until oil starts spitting out there for a bit, then we know it's got oil in the lines. Alright, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to see if I can do it so you guys can see the oil coming out. All right, if you have a new gasket, put a new gasket on. If not, don't worry about it. And I'll show you the reason why I'm not going to use the other one. The other one, this is off the old engine. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but you can see the heavy amount of corrosion inside here. There you've got water in this block because, um, like I said before, the crankcase split in half. So this is just basically last resort parts. So that's why I'm salvaging parts from both engines to make this one complete. So now we're going to bolt that back on. Bolted on these is pretty straightforward. Four bolts and then those are done. Nothing too serious. You can handle that. If you got this far, the rest is fucking gravy train. So now we're going to check the stator to make sure the stator's good. And there's three pins on the bottom there. And if I show you on this one here, if you follow the cable, you can't really see, there's three yellow wires. You follow the wire up through the hole, and then the three wires go into that bottom plug. So all you have to do is do an ohms test between all three wires. And if you don't get an overload, when you do it between all three, it'll be good. So, let's start off. I'll try to get this so I'm not in the way. 
So do the outside and the end one, no overload. No overload. Two outside ones. No overload. There we go. Tested the pins, they're all good. And, and then for this one here, if you want to do a resistance test or an ohms test, right up there. And continuity goes through there as well. There you have it. Quick test. Fucking right, it's beer time. Ah. Motherfucker. Anyways, I just want to end that video and finish drinking my fucking cool Paps fucking blue ribbon. The next stage of the c engine is installed and it's, this is the end of the rebuild. The fucking rebuild is done. It's either going to fucking go or she's going to blow. I'm going to say that all along. We've mixed and matched the best parts from both engines to complete one engine. New gaskets, new fucking pistons and rings, some new seals, everything along the way. And I'm pretty fucking confident that it's going to run. However, anything can happen. So stay tuned to watch the rest of the series. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, fucking pound some beers, fuck some bitches, and keep on watching.